Hey everybody, this is Ion Stuff, and today I want to show you how I make a self-igniting fuse. The first item you'll need is a regular party popper that you'll find at um, any uh, party store or a grocery market, a piece of visco fuse or cannon fuse, you'll need a pair of scissors, a box cutter, and a glue gun. So the first thing you'll need to do is disassemble the party popper. First thing you want to do is unwrap the string carefully without pulling it. Let it hang there and just remove the, uh, the gold band. Next thing is uh, I guess you can squeeze this bottom part. You don't want to handle it too roughly but uh, it's fairly uh, robust. Just remove piece and you can remove the confetti. There's another piece of cardboard that you can kind of squeeze a little bit and get your uh, box cutter out. Pull it out. Now you get your pair of scissors. So you want to cut it straight down. You can remove this wrapper. From here, just take out all this plastic here. And you'll have something like this. And I believe you may want to cut this down a little bit because you want access to this little portion here without damaging that. Okay, so you're going to use your X-Acto or box cutter and you're going to slice about maybe half inch, three quarter inch. Let's see if I can do this without cutting myself. When you do this, some of the uh, gunpowder or black powder will actually fall out. Now you want to try to retain all the powder without a lot of it falling out. Let's see if I have enough of that cut. much as possible you want to wrap the fuse around it without losing all the gunpowder and use your glue gun after that dries a little bit so you can turn it around then add more glue gun to the or glue to the other side so if this is made correctly, you have a self-igniting fuse, or sometimes called a pull fuse. If you add a ring to this string, it'll be a pull ring fuse. Hopefully that works.